Hi guys, this will hopefully be a very quick and easy video showing you how we, so I've got the Tesco version of the Moto G. Um, Paul O'Brien has basically worked out how you can flash to the stock Motorola ROM without unlocking your bootloader or anything nasty like that. So I want to be very clear, this is not my own work, this is not, you know, I've not figured out how to do this, I've not written the scripts, um, I'm really just showing you how simple it is, or hopefully how simple it is. Uh, Huge big thanks to Paul O'Brien, as uh, he often does. He's come through and provided us with the way to take our Moto G back to its stock settings. So we're just going to follow through these instructions. Um, make sure you download the file. I'll give you the links down below as well as usual. Um, let's see how we get on. So I'm going to... Uh, let's see. Oh, the whole thing's pretty much... Everything's there. So let's just copy that. I'm going to throw it straight onto my desktop. And just check on your PC that it's installed correctly and it sees the device is not shown as an unknown device. I'm going to unplug it again for this part because you tend to find when it's got power in it when you power it off uh, it just reboots itself again it, it starts back up so unplug the power then we're going into bootloader mode so we need volume down while we turn it on volume down I'm going to do them both at the same time and then hopefully when I let go we see bootloader mode so now I'm going to plug it back in. It turns out it didn't install correctly. It tried to install a Falcon S, whatever that is. So I did show you briefly Motorola Device Manager. Shall fire that up. I'm going to unplug the phone. Yep. Get on with it. Get on with it. Okay. That's what we need. Installing devices, USB drivers. Oh dear, not so much. Motor or device software. Not so much what I need or want. Oh great. So I'll probably take it back off when we're done. Okay, to get a command prompt within this uh, window, the easiest thing to do is hold down your shift key, right click, select open command window here. There we go. Now let's just plug back in again. Now it didn't I don't get any pop-ups or anything, but it is now saying Motorola ADB interface. So I think that's where we need to be. So in theory, I'll tab through to get the one we should, I think. Sending the modem now. Erasing user data. So it is wiping. I should, probably should have pointed that out. Hopefully you're aware of this already. It's going to wipe my user data. That's not a problem for me. And I believe we're done. Is the phone going to reboot or are we back in? There it goes. It reboots. That's not what I was expecting to see. Let's just make sure we wipe data factory reset. I'm going to unplug at this point.
So we're back in, let's have a look. Retail.en.gb, no sign of Tesco anywhere at all, that's why we're doing it. My device is up to date. So there we go, relatively simple. Um, with warranty still intact, I've not had to unlock the bootloader. I'm not rooted, I'm not, you know, it's nothing like that. Literally, we've just put Motorola's stock ROM back on to my Tesco bought Motorola Moto G. There you go, my name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.